Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie Martinez Hans and I am currently in Pal Turf. One of the things that I've noticed when I was speaking to friends and family as to like what they bring in terms of travel things, things that they don't bring is this a medic box or a first aid box which I found really fascinating because whenever I travel this is like one of the most important things that I always take a lot especially I've been traveling for the last I want to say five six years and I mean Courtney and I have been ill with the amount of times we've cut ourselves Courtney gets a lot of heat rashes and I get a lot of migraines so it's very the essentials is really important you can actually get this box anyway i bought this particular one at a place called storage and more which is located in cape cape i know that you can get a crazy store or you can get those pre-packed first aid kits at like a take a lot or clicks or even this game so if you want a pre-packed kit by all means get that or you can just have one yourself i'm actually going to show you what it is that we actually have in this tiny little box i actually just slide it underneath our car seat because we do majority of our travel or all our travel is road trip so just to have it underneath a seat <laughs> is the most ideal thing so the first thing that we have is my husband he did a first aid course and a few items that he came home with which we didn't purchase ourselves and one of it is this i'm not quite sure but i know you use it for cpr and it looks like this i know you can do mouth to mouth but i think by g purposes this makes sense you've got some cotton wool if you've got an open wound you kind of need to clean the wound with this we've also got gloves which is really essential you know you don't want to have germs getting onto your hands and stuff then we've got a dressing so a dressing looks like this you don't have to but i would ideally think you could you could have we've got these little small finger dressings and it's literally this small of course we've got our cevlon our antiseptic germ killer which looks like this this is really inexpensive and of course we've got some plasters i mean the amount of times called and i cut ourselves or knock against something <laughs> that's a thing so we've got just a few plasters we don't bring the whole box with and these ones we've got these two cold and flu relief uh, tablets which is these the Grenza C and the codex because Courtney and I use the products. I like this, he did. He likes this. So, just in case if you get the cold and flu. And then Courtney has his um, eye drops, which is like this. I don't even know what this brand is called, to be honest. But because he's got a sinus issue, it fix his eyes, so he needs to have an eye drop. And then I've got this Milo Cold Cream which is for skin irritation um i usually have the allergic cream because Courtney gets a lot of heat rashes on his inside of his palm of the year and on his neck so this really helps but it's finished so we've got this one in the meantime and then i've got a little scissors you know to cut particular stuff and i've got a few pearls which i take out of the box just because this box is really small and so I don't want to take up too much space with an actual box itself. So I just pull out a little of these stuff. I've got some strepsils. No, you just don't this sore. I've got allergics. This is for Courtney because he's got a sinus issue. Emodium. You know, if your stomach is not great, you know, it's any stomach, that's the thing. I, and then I've got my Atkadol, which is mostly for pain and headaches. Like I said, I suffer from severe migraine, so that is a very important thing to have. Spasmid. Often, when we are sleeping in a new bed or it's a new establishment, the pillows are quite high. Because then I often get spasms in our necks just because of the way we are laying. This is really awesome to have. Then we've got this deep heat patch. And of course, some hand sanitizer, which is 
and it really important. As so you can see, it fits nicely into this box. Obviously, we do everything vertical because it just allows for more space. And then this goes on top and we simply just close it. So you can see all these angels can literally fit into this little small box of mine. There's no way that I can travel without this. And let me know below what it is that you think I've probably missed out on and that I can add. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or you're more than welcome to subscribe to my channel to get weekly videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.